Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything having to do with psychology, manifesting, and the law of attraction. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why you should actively be working on your self-concept. Now, before we start, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the bell. Do it now because I put out at least two videos a week that are going to be able to help you with your manifestations. Before we get started, if you haven't yet seen my last video about self-concept, you definitely want to check that one out first. I'm going to put a link up above and down below. All right, so your self-concept is how you view yourself and actually how you think the world works for you in general. The main reason it's important to work on your self-concept, guys, is because you're always thinking from the version of yourself that you think that you are. Let me say that again because this is extremely important. You are always thinking from the version of yourself that you think that you are. Let's say you're trying to manifest a new job. If you think you're a person who isn't very competent, who never gets chosen, who does poorly in interviews, then all your thoughts and actions are coming from that place, from the place of lack and undeservedness. If you're trying to manifest love, a relationship, or a specific person, if you think you are unlovable, unworthy, unattractive, and second best, those are the beliefs that you're going to carry about yourself, and those are the beliefs that generate your inner conversations, your daily thoughts about your situation, and inevitably, those things are going to get pushed out into your 3D. People always ask, is it possible to manifest through specific affirmations about your desire without working on self-concept? Yes, it's possible, okay? It is possible to do that. But in my experience as a coach, if you have a long-standing issue on a specific topic, if you have an old story that's extremely pervasive that tends to play out again and again in your world, same types of people in your life, same types of relationships, same types of jobs, same types of financial lack, until you work on the self-concept and the story that you're telling about yourself and how your life goes, your specific affirmations will have a very hard time becoming the dominant assumption. Let me give you guys an example. You can say, my specific person loves me and thinks only of me 10 times a day, 100 times a day, and it may start to ingrain in the mind, but if you have an underlying conflicting belief that says, I'm not worthy of this person because I'm not beautiful or special enough, or there are others who are more deserving than I am, what's happening is you have a conflict happening in the mind. You have two opposing thoughts in the mind happening at the same time, and the mind just hates to have conflict, so what does it try to do? It always tries to resolve the conflict by dropping the weaker and usually the newer thought. Okay? So what happens when you have this conflict, your mind tries to drop one of the thoughts and then you end up flip-flopping between your new and your old assumption, your new assumption, your old assumption. Self-concept is one of the strongest assumptions that we carry in our mind. It is who we think we are and how we think the world works at the most fundamental level. So why try and compete with your self-concept when you can actually get your self-concept on board and then you can eliminate that conflict that you have in the mind between the new affirmations and the old self-concept. So in my experience, having a strong self-concept makes it a million times easier to manifest just about anything. Think about it this way. Do you think it's gonna be easier for you to impress the belief that your specific person loves you if you think you're already lovable and adorable, or if you think that you have this underlying belief that you're not really worthy of love? Obviously, if you already think that you're lovable, that can only really help the situation, right? In the end of the day, it's as the famous saying goes, no problem can be solved from the level of consciousness that it was created from. If you want to solve an issue, you have to be thinking from the level of consciousness that has the solution, not the level of consciousness that has the problem. And this is exactly what Neville Goddard was talking about when he said that we should be living from the end. Essentially, we should be living from the solution and not living from the problem. So when you work on and change your self-concept, you are essentially doing just that. You are thinking from the person who would easily have your desire, the person who can be focused on the abundance of that thing instead of thinking from the person who is in lack of that thing and trying to figure out how do I get that thing. And that's why we say you don't get what you want, you get what you are. Here's a great tip to get you started working on your self-concept. Ask yourself this, what part of me thinks that I am undeserving or unworthy of this desire? Maybe you think you don't deserve what you want because you're not good enough for it in some way. Maybe you think you are second best. Maybe you have a rejection story that you play over and over again in your mind that tells you that everyone always leaves you. When you work on those aspects of the self-concept, you'll start to see massive changes in all the things you are manifesting. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. Be sure to leave a comment down below. And many of you have also been telling me that you can't see when my latest videos are coming out. That's because when you subscribe, you also got to hit the bell notification to get notified. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram. And in the meantime, I'm gonna throw two videos up for you, one over here and over here. And I will see you guys in the next video.